In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Writing Test 8, Section 2. We're now on the third passage, Court Reporting Humans versus Machines. Court reporters for years have been the record keepers of the court, taking scrupulous notes during hearings, depositions, and other legal proceedings. So we have a couple of questions right at the outset. 23 is a diction question. What types of notes do you think a court reporter takes? Obviously very detailed, very thorough. We see scrupulous, super rigorous. This is also a tone issue. This doesn't really fit with the tone of the passage. Spot on, again, it's too casual. And intense, there has to be some evidence. Remember, this is evidence-based writing that it's intense. We don't have that. And scrupulous means very detailed. So even if you didn't know that, Hopefully you could arrive at the answer by elimination, and this one is no change. And 24, notes during hearings, depositions, and other legal proceedings, we're just listing the different venues where these court reporters take notes, and certainly not a semicolon. That would separate two independent clauses. We just need a comma here, that's right, just to separate those. And so number 24 is C. Despite the increasing use of digital recording technologies, court reporters still play a vital role in courtrooms. And so let's take a look now. We've got a question. I'm going to read the rest of this and then we'll come back to 25. Although machines can easily make digital audio recordings of court events, they lack the nuance of human court reporters in providing a precise record. And so question 25, the writer at this point right here is considering adding this graph. And this graph, salary comparison, court reporters versus other occupations, is there any evidence that or discussion here about the the salaries it, it really doesn't fit does it so even though we have this graph here i wouldn't even pay attention to the graph because just from the context of this passage it was just really talking about the the need for court reporters there's no mention at all of salaries or other occupations it really doesn't fit there so we're gonna have two yeses and two no's let's take a look at the choices should we make the addition we know it's going to be a no is it no because it presents information that is not directly related to the paragraph discussion of the role of court reporters? This looks good. Or no because it does not provide information about the pay scale for more experienced reporters. Again, not really relevant here. It just doesn't fit. It's not related to the discussion about the role of reporters. So it's C for this that one. All right, we've got a new paragraph. We notice the brackets. There will be a question about sentence order. Court reporters record the spoken word in real time, most commonly using the technique of stenography. A stenotype machine allows a person to type about 200 words per minute. The speed of speech is about 180 words per minute. The typed words are instantaneously translated onto a computer screen for the judge to view, and the transcript is used later by people who want to review the case, such as journalists and lawyers. Digital audio recording is becoming increasingly popular in the courtrooms across the United States with six states using solely audio recordings for general jurisdiction sessions. Proponents of going digital say that technology is the easiest way to get the most accurate r record of the proceedings as the machine records everything faithfully as it occurs and not subject to human errors such as mishearing or mistyping. So 26, this looks like a tense issue. We've got subject to, and if you look at the choices, we've got subjected, subjected from, we, it's also testing the idiom, the preposition here. So whenever you have a tense issue, look in, in different parts of the sentence, we know that this is going to be correct, right? There's no underline. And we see as the machine records that is present tense, everything faithfully as it occurs and is not subject. We want the present tense. So subject is right. And is it subject for or subject to? This is kind of an idiomatic issue and you can kind of test it out in your head. It's definitely subject to. That's the phrase. And so this one is no change for 26. However, with the rise of high quality recording technology, reliance on court reporters as a record keeper is just decreasing. And so 27, reliance on court reporters as a record keeper. We haven't seen this rule too much. This is called a number agreement rule. And a number agreement means that the subject, if there's some type of prepositional phrase that relates to the subject, it has to be in agreement with the number. And so here we have court reporters, that's plural, as a keeper. Are many reporters a single keeper? That doesn't work. It's not parallel. And so this one, to be parallel with court reporters, they are not one record keeper. They have to be 
plural record keepers. Again, a number agreement. I saw in another test, I'll give you a sentence that I just remembered. The question stated that only applicants with a college degree apply for the position. And this part was underlined. Applicants is plural. All the applicants do not share a single degree. And so this one is another number agreement. It should be with college degrees, plural, to be parallel. And so 27 right, is C. And here's, we'll do the last question here in this video, 28. This is the question on sentence order. Where should six be placed? However, with the rise of high quality recording technology reliance on court reporters, and we change this to as record keepers, is decreasing. This is almost a transitional sentence. However, with the rise of high quality recording technology, if we look at the beginning of the paragraph, I always go back to the beginning. It started out talking about the role of court reporters, the human reporters. Talked about the stenotype machine, the typed words, and then in 24, it goes right to digital recording. It really doesn't make this transition. Remember, this is all about the humans, the human court reporters, and then it goes right to digital audio. We need a transition. And six is a transitional sentence. However, with the rise of high quality recording technology reliance on court reporting, court reporters as record keepers is decreasing. And then we go into the detail about the digital audio. And so it really belongs before this sentence. It belongs after three. And so let's look at the answers for 28. And yes, it is C.